morning, afternoon. It's been a while. We haven't been to the van, yeah. in the van for like three weeks. So last week we were away to my home country where we had a lovely time. We did. And we missed the flossy. And the weather's good, so. So we just arrived at Buell Water. That's how I would say it, Buell Water. Buell Water. W-L. It's a very large reservoir. I think it's one of the biggest in, in Kent area. Might be even the biggest one. So what we decided, actually we don't really have a big plan. We just, just thought we might do the walk around the lake, which is 22 kilometers. Yeah. yeah, but as we drove in, we saw bike hire and I'm kind of keen to do bike. Yeah. It's, been, it's been a while since we cycled somewhere. So we're gonna go have a look around and we need to make a decision are we walking or are we cycling car park as you can see is massive it's very popular for walkers cycling and water activities seven pounds yeah, for all seven day, pounds for a day which I think is quite reasonable. you started here and you go all the way around the lake so we're walking because we need to return bikes by four o'clock and we don't have enough time to do the cycle around and bike so we're walking time set we need to complete this walk in five hours the challenge is four and a half let's go let's go I think our goal is four hours 30 to do, let's say 21 kilometers. Yeah. Just because we just had, uh, had a little detour. <laughs> First issue, we arrived very unprepared and quite late. We didn't have any lunch. My stomach is rumbling already. <laughs> yep. And we just started to walk. And we decided not to pack our sandwiches because we thought, oh no, we uh, won't. No, well, won't why would that. you need a sandwich? So all we've got is a bag of crisps, a bottle of Lucasaid, and some sweets and muffins. But that's, it's enough to keep us going. That's the main thing. So rather than this being a nice sort of leisurely walk like we plan, we've now turned it into a challenge. You sure about that? Yeah. So if you come all day, you could take this walk really slowly, but now we're already like... No, that's how we're walking all the time. Yeah, we do walk quite fast, but we haven't got much of a choice but to make it a challenge because otherwise Fossey's stuck in a car park and we're camping for the night. I mean, mm, worst, I worst things could happen. Yeah. We definitely need to get back here to do some water activities whilst it's still yeah, warm. It's gorgeous here. But um, for now, a walk around the lake will be. Right, so just two kilometers in, we're already snacking. Yeah, but we should have snapped before we started, so. We're gonna hit you with a couple interesting facts about this. Uh, reservoir. First one being Buell Water holds 31 million litres of water. It is a biggest reservoir in South East England covering approximately 800 acres. It's massive. So it is a big walk. This is why we need some fuel. So this reservoir is man-made and it's been built between 1973 and 1975 and the main purpose was just to supply the water around the surrounding area, Kent and East Sussex. So it has its important uses and it's beautiful. We need to get the boat. Yeah, we definitely need to come back and do more activities when we are less the rush time. time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we just hit two miles. In how long? 37 minutes. We're doing okay. We keep yeah. the same pace up. I think we got we got a good pace, and I think if we see that we're actually doing really well, and we don't have much left, we can slow it down. Yeah, we can slow it down. Have a stop. But right now we are literally like marching. Yes, just, just literally marching. Who doesn't like a challenge? Makes it more fun, right? If you want to do this walk, this, this circular walk, it isn't all beside the lake. Obviously, I have never been here before. I didn't know what to expect, but part of me would have thought you literally walk along the lakeside the whole way around, but actually you kind of weave into the forest yeah. back out. So you do get a nice variation of scenery, which is very pleasant. Also, 
if you're into fishing you can hire the boat uh, like kayak and whatever there was quite use, yeah. yeah there was quite a few options mm -hmm. where you can hire and it's quite popular for fishing trout they said they had brown trout yeah and so rainbow trout yeah so this. apparently being regularly stocked so yeah. I would assume they released these mm. trout here so you can fish them but something to look into which we haven't done we are not into fishing but we heard about it We just hit 5k, it's literally one hour. In that case, we are on really good pace. If we're keeping this pace, I think we can make it an even quicker than four and a half. This section here of this path, where it takes you on a, on a road, but as you can see, it's like really quiet road. And if you're actually cycling, probably the best, part, relief, yeah. the best part of it. Someone left some apples, fresh, just picked and... And washed. And washed. <laughs> Quick snack on the, on the go. They are really good as well. Nice. Thank you, stranger. Thank you, stranger. Whoever you are, you're a good egg or a good apple. Like, this is my perfect walk. The whole thing has been like... It's really nice countryside walk. Like, you see the farms on the sides, nice buildings, some animals. We pretty much hit the halfway point. <laughs> so nearly two hours. So we, I think we even increased the pace that we had before. 10 kilometers done. How are you feeling? I'm all right. My feet yeah. are okay. They hurt where they hurt, but we haven't done yeah, that's a good thing. walk for so long. It Since is. we've like done up the van, we've spent weekends either working on the van and not moving around or being out in the van, but loving it so much that we've done a quick walk just to yeah. get back to the van. So like last trips, like New Forest, Cornwall even. Cornwall, we haven't done many big walks. We used to be like max 5K, less than that. Yeah. The last we one we've done do more, most was like Wales. Like February, so. Yeah. It's been a while. We're gonna ache tomorrow, 100%. <laughs> yeah, but it's worth it for yeah. all of this. Type B fun or something. Yeah, yeah type B fun, I think it's called when you're actually kind of almost suffering. You hate it at the time, but the euphoria afterwards yeah. brings it's that just... joy. Thai beef fun is the fun that we like. <laughs> Let's smash another half and we're almost done. Right, all the anglers now we need some explanation so obviously we spoke about fishing in this lake we just witnessed like, so many fishermen <laughs> and, like they're, copy and, paste yeah, the and they look out. like copy and paste and they all got like pretty much the same kit and like what the hell is that like it's like a floating stuff i'm <laughs> guessing that's where maybe the bait sit but Feeling one of them, like Emily said, it looked like he had a proper barbecue. He had like a, yeah. a kitchen area for like... A bowl and it looked like maybe sauces know, or cutting something. Cutting the fish. Yeah. Nice. So, but also, please explain that. And please also explain how you fish when you don't back cast. Like, it says here that you're not allowed to obviously back cast to... But that's the only way I've ever yeah. seen someone fish. Like, is there a way that you can kind of... Forward. <laughs> forward cast, like fling it or... Just plop it in. <laughs> like someone tell us because we I personally confused. have never fished in my life and that looked complicated. And I just saw a couple of guys just doing the, that thing and I don't see how else you can do it. More than half of the leg, we haven't seen a single fisherman, They're just a couple in the boat. And this this side of the leg is covered with them, look even here. <laughs> This must be like the trout hot spot. Yeah, it's weird. It's like going and seeing like people in the golf course pulling all their golf buggy stuff. <laughs> but angler edition. Yeah, that was interesting. <laughs> anyway. Look at this. We've done three courses. 
of a trail in two hours 56 minutes only 5k left and i think we're gonna be under four hours three hours 45 was 45. like my goal Right, two miles to go, but we are in really bad big, shape. A bit bad shape and agony. The pain levels were here and now they're here. The mental <laughs> battery that we said was really good earlier. It's getting it's lower. Significantly lower. <laughs> we change the technique. We are very determined that we can make it. In three hours and 45 minutes. I thought we were running. How I feel about this? <laughs> we're doing it anyway. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> No, no, no. Oh, I healed. Come on. Big heavy. The legs. My legs are too tired. We've we come to the conclusion. We've got only 10 minutes left. We see the finish. I just, just don't think even, like Arma said, running. Even running, they're going to achieve it. And I think we're just going to make ourselves feel so much worse by trying. This sounds, <laughs> a walk around the lake it sounds so dramatic, but we've just turned it into something now and I feel like we've got to achieve. Like when I said that we would do it under four hours, you were like, yeah, right. But then we actually could. Yeah, because we... initially we thought it's five, six hour walk. I think we need to catch our breath. Yeah. Three hours, 52 minutes, 20 kilometers. We see the tents. We nearly there. We can make it under four hours. I just want to get in the water, but it's not allowed. You can't swim here, which makes no sense for me. Touch it. Touch it. Stop. Three hours and 54 minutes. 20.3 kilometers. All right, well done. Can we sit down now? They need to come off. It's literally like Satan on my feet. Please still have toenails. Okay, no blisters so far and still have my toenails. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's so good to see you, Blossy. I want to cry. You remember earlier when I said it's that type B? Type B fun. And I said, no, no, it's lovely fun. No, it's definitely type B fun. <laughs> change my mind. All in all, it's a very good walk. I wouldn't necessarily recommend just rocking up for a casual stroll, turning it into a challenge and marching 20 miles, 20 kilometers, because we're going to really regret that tomorrow. I think I'm already regretting it a little bit now. But as a walk in itself, it's well worth doing, isn't it? Mm. Us doing it shows that you can do it yeah. too. We, we are not like... Sort of I certainly am not. Just be prepared for pain. But yeah, now it's time for us to do some stretching because if we don't, I think we will not be able to get out of bed tomorrow. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this utterly, utterly chaotic afternoon. I yeah. certainly have enjoyed it. That was nice. So pray for our feet and our bums and our legs. And we'll see you on the next trip, wherever that may be. Yeah, see you on the next one. Bye.